At the September 11th board meeting, the Midtown Center expansion was discussed to the tune of $330,000. When asked about usage of the facility, Mr. Hawker stated the following, I'm not sure if this room is hardly ever empty. Katie Grotman uses this facility all the time. We use this meeting room all the time. In fact, oftentimes we just can't even book it because it's just booked out so, so much. It is virtually book solid Monday through Friday from 8 to 3 virtually all the time. It is just used all the time. Whenever we get, can get it, we book it. I thought no way. I did a public records request for the Midtown Center meeting schedule to see if indeed the facility was virtually book solid Monday through Friday from 8 to 3. I used the school's staff calendars from September 12th, 22 through September 11th, 23. I eliminated holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, spring, and summer breaks. I then looked at the hours of scheduled use Monday through Friday from 8 to 3. There was a total of 180 days available for meetings for a total of 1,260 hours. The actual scheduled meetings totaled 494.8 hours. This equates to a 39.3% usage averaging 2.749 hours per day. Out of the 180 days, there were 62 days that had no scheduled use. And only 27 days, or 15%, were virtually booked solid 8 to 3. Hardly justification for a $330,000 expansion with so many needs within the district. In my opinion, it's very concerning when taxpayers have to fact check what is said by people in power. When an authority figure uses repeated statements, distorting, exaggerating, or whatever you would like to call it, to convince elected officials to hand over $330,000, something is very wrong. Where's the credibility? It makes me wonder what other misrepresentations are presented to the board and taxpayers as fact. This casts serious doubts on anything presented at these meetings. Integrity, ethics, and trust are out the window, and you wonder why taxpayers view the district with great skepticism and distrust. This is unacceptable and is not a good example of leadership for our schools or our students. At the same board meeting, there were concerns expressed by parents and taxpayers on bus route changes. Taxpayers just approved a $25 million levy for the kids but yet you cut bus, bus routes. Where did For the Kids go? It amazes me that highly paid and educated leadership within this district can't solve the problem. Maybe start with the $330,000 and put it towards the kids and restore the bus routes. Thank you. Thank you.